session. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. So it's the next day. You're buying equipment. Da 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 da. Or re re thinging. You've healed one hit point overnight. Mm-hmm. I did one eight point cure on me and one eight point cure on the uh, Nitty. 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 Yep. So Nitty so should be like two off full. Or uh, one off full. Yeah, my full is how much is my full? It's ten, mm -hmm. right? Or eight? Ten. Ten. Ten plus yeah, well, com bonus. Yeah, so ten. I just had written down there nine. So was I on one HP when we got back and you cast yep, an eight yep. HP? Yeah, so now I'm on now I'm on full after the night's rest. Mm -hmm. right, excellent. Um oh yeah, I, I do I'm starting to not blank on yeah. There was a discussion about me wanting to get armor. Mm. That's right. That's what I was thinking. I lent you the money. Oh you did? Yep, mm -hmm. okay. Where is that on my character sheet? And that was to get I can't remember uh, what we decided because I asked your suggestion on it, didn't I, um, Steve, on what it should be. Well, it's entirely and, and you. It, um, it was, just depends on how fast you want to move. Yeah, I think one of them gave the same AC bonus, but um, Scale? One wasn't as heavy. Also, I think it was, ch was it Chain or? Chain is AC5 and it takes you down I loaned you 20 to... silver. So that means, and Chain costs 75. Um, yep. Just to buy that outright, so you won't be buying a hell of a lot of other stuff. Um, okay, so, yep. And that was AC5, okay. Yep. So chain is AC5, it weighs 300 pounds or 30 coin weight, gives you a movement of 9 inches. Whereas yep. scale, which I think was the other one you were looking at, I'm not sure. I think so. It was either scale or banded. I know well, we had a discussion. Scale is fairly bulky, weighs 400, and only gives you a movement rate of 6 inches. And it's AC, I same as cha uh, chain? I believe it's the same. I could be wrong, but I believe it's the same. Could be. Alright. So, so it would theoretically be cheaper than chain, but chain would be way less, but cost a bit more because of the intricacy in making it. Alright, scale is. Scale is yeah. 45 gold, and it's the same as scale in the shield is chain. Scale okay. Itself is armor class six. Okay. So, so you yeah. Go, from where you are now, you go chain, chain in the shield. Um, then you would have to jump up to splint or banded in the shield or straight plate mail, and then the last thing is plate mail and a shield. That's as, as best as you can get. Of course, Alrighty. sometimes magic will best that. You know, you could, if you're ever lucky enough to get like a plus seven suit of magical arm leather. <laughs> yeah, um, okay. Raises the AC two bitches. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it's been known to happen. Plus ring of shield. <laughs> well, wow. Plus, plus a sh magical shield, uh, plus three shield, plus a ring of protection. I think they all stack. Yeah. So, so sorry, uh, did we cover splinted? Splint. Splint is, splint is heavy, is... heavy armor. It's like oh, it's heavy. heavy. It's basically Japanese Kabuto armor. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. That's, and that would be that's, that's, that's the most obvious form of splint I like can name. Players, <laughs> we'll give you the AC. Yeah, AC four for splint. I think it is. Okay, so yeah, for all that extra and weight, you get one. Six movement rate because it weighs yeah. forty. Yep, I think I yeah pounds. I decided on chain in the end I believe mm -hmm. yep, alrighty, and if how we much, just how much for a healing potion? Well, they were ten each for the one pointers. Mm -hmm. What about a full? The church will have that many that I can you know buy off them. Through. We did buy four. One hundred silver pieces, I should say. One hundred silver, or 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 ten silver for four ones, is it? Ten silver for one one. Huh. Forty silver for four ones. I thought I got more of them for cheaper than that, but yeah. You might have. Mm. Nah, it wasn't. It was definitely ten each because we got paid fifty silver up front and we used it to buy the mule and cart and then spent the rest on. I I bought all the potions. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, you money back for one of those. 
Yep. So does didn't, other didn't, people. <laughs> didn't we buy the potions out of the uh, uh, we bought the, the advanced money? Oh, that was the donkey and cart, correct. Yeah, true. Alrighty, yep. There you are. I repay my debts, so 10 silver off me, Lincoln. Cool. I've restocked my potions as well, just so people know. Mm -hmm. well, Orson um, restocked my potions. <laughs> um, when we split the money we acquired last session, how much was it that each of 60. us ended up with? 60, alrighty. Yep. So you let me 15... I'm going to say, or, yeah, all right. Sweeney, because you had a goblin to kid out. As well. Oh, uh, yeah, 20 because I had a goblin to kid out. I completely forgot about him. Mm -hmm. Mate, all right. He already yeah, has his set of leather armor, so we literally only need to give him a spear, which is cheap, because it's a stick yep. with a point on the end of it, and probably a dagger, just so he's got something extra if he throws the spear. Um... And then maybe you'll need to buy him some food. Yep. Or he can, uh, yeah, share mine, etc. Also, I might just give him my, my old studded leather, unless Lucky wants he's it. He's too, way too small for that. Oh, yeah, it would have to be re refitted and everything. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, in, in that case, I'll so just you yeah, I'll try sell to resell that. resell your leather. If you yeah. Want to, or you might want to keep it as a second set for those times when you don't want to wear chain. Mm, true. Uh, if I had somewhere to, s I guess I could just store it on the donkey, on the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the moment. Yep. Alrighty. Um, just going to oh. ask Clem, um, with the rest of your money, um, are you wanting to purchase any um, healing potions for yourself or no? Uh, you're asking Clem, correct? Clem, yep, wrong. Oh, sorry, what was that? I just remember you've got some money I guess left over. Did you want to buy your own healing potions or not? Probably should. Well, I mean, you don't be able to get the one point of jobs, but hey, for you that's a significant game. That's a quarter of your hit points. What, um, how much are they again? Ten silver per one point, that point. I'll buy two. Okay. That lives me. And I gave a considerable portion of what I uh, got given back to the, the mm -hmm. sheriff for, uh, you know, thing. Because obviously mm -hmm. I did it for the deed rather than the uh, the coin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you've got the XP, that's what you really need. Yeah, exactly. Um, and Clem, you put your spell last night into your wand. Yes, he did state that before yeah. the end of the session. And I'm sorry, I didn't... I remember the others, but I don't remember what spell you have ready for the day. Was it going to be your... Uh, um, I stuck with Shocking Grasp, I think. Okay, cool. Yep. cool. Um, one thing regarding the Goblin, Steve. Mm. Uh, he would have a monster profile, correct? Is there anything he is, any type of weapon he's a proficient in? Or that I should give him? Or besides just a spear? Like, is there anything he doesn't get the negative when using? Like daggers, maybe, or something? I think you'd be safe with small weapons. Like a spear yeah. and small weapons should be safe with him. Yeah, like, a, so a short sword would be safe? Yeah, would be. All right. I mean, a dagger is probably as much as you need. Yeah, alrighty. Yep. Spear for long range, so he doesn't have to feel like he's got to be in the forefront of combat, and it's good because it's a second rank attacker. Yeah, so we can stand behind me and... And yeah. if you want to, we can put a um, lantern on the end of the spear and carry that for you. Yep, so excellent. Really alrighty. Good. Yep, alright, and just, yeah, backup weapon in case he does get cornered, so, yeah. Mm. Alrighty, excellent. And we gave him a name last time. Yeah, uh, it was... Was, was Lester, was it? Lester. Either that or I was going to ask him what his name actually was. Grubnuck. Grubnuck? All right. Well, I'd let him keep his own name. Unless he wants to be reborn as Lester. He Steve. Is, says he is now going to be calling himself Grubnuck Lester. Grubnuck Lester. All right. I'm just setting up his character sheet for you. All righty. Um, I'll have to get a little... Um... <laughs> Look at that. He's been given a full name. <laughs> Hero profile power up. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's a fan of anime, but they do that. And what is it? Uh, I got reincarnated as a slime. And the slime oh, I haven't watched giving, that yet. Them, giving monsters names, and they become hero stat. 
<laughs> because they've That's been awesome. given names. Oh, oh it's, it's, a, it's a very it's a very good anime. Um, good so, Itsukai. So sad that they've finished up the current season of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Um, Still yet to catch up on that. Slash how, that. however, they have started releasing. Um, is it bad to pick up girls in a dungeon too? <laughs> Is that an Itsukai? Close, you know, you but know, not yeah. quite. All right. It's it's a really again a very very funny uh, sword and sorcery style show. I yep. actually prefer it's abridged. The abridged version of the first one was genius. I've I I've spoiled all of those by reading all of the mangas. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. yeah I have. But Overlord, I'm looking for season three. Yeah. Did anybody watch Shield Hero? Uh, I read all of the mangas again. Uh, <laughs> so I'm ahead of where the... Well, yeah. Sorry, I read the mangas, or... got stupidly addicted, then swapped to the novel and got stupidly far ahead. Yeah, right. Uh... Know, on with the D&D game, we can talk yes. about yes. Yep. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm, I'm out of here at half past roughly, so... Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, yeah no more. If yeah. everybody's managed to buy up, we reload up the donkey. Mm -hmm. I'll do donkey. Yep. What did no, you name? Oh no, the donkey's name is Camel. Did Mystic find a lot of right. Sherpa? The donkey's sorry? name is Camel. Camel, sorry, yes. Um, Mystic, is, is, is Lister like a Sherpa? Can we load him up? Uh, he's a goblin. They're, they're not well known for their great strength. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. would his HPP be, Steve? Four. Four? Alrighty. Mm. Excellent. Brother Goblin. Yep. Alrighty. It's actually quite a help to have him standing behind me with a spear, uh, being that we've only got one fighter. Mm. So, yeah. Cool. Alrighty. Yeah. Excellent. And your charisma is what, sorry? My charisma is very low, so Nitty. I'm going to have to forge a bit of a relationship with him to get him to... That's going to go against your name. No. Yeah, I know. My charisma is six. Oh, but that's yeah. still not a minus one, is it? I don't know. I have to look at it. Yeah, I think that's the first point where things start getting more. And it's um, charisma based but stuff is always on a position. Nuri is female. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and. Plus four. You yeah, know. <laughs> he could female be. Female elf. He could be. Female elf. He could be gay for all you know. Ah, true. So a six. Shall we roll for that? Minus 15% loyalty base. Alrighty. That, that's not good. You have to try to do some big stuff to overcome that. So just minus fifteen percent loyalty. That's all right. I mean, for now, I mean, where does he have to go? He's got no better option than to stick with us. So no, at the moment you feed him, you've kept him safe, and you've equipped him. Yeah, um, and I'm I'm going to continue building a repertoire up with yeah. him and explaining to him that basically his loyalty is the only thing that saved him. Mm -hmm. in the first place and i suggest that his loyalty is the only thing that's gonna take his life in a positive direction we'll let you from off. now on yeah <laughs> okay. so um has everyone bought everything they think they need mm -hmm. uh yes yep. so i have a little bit more, of going back to do more later. oil for the, for oh, the lantern oil. that's right uh some ropes and batons um, the more sling bullets. What else did I buy? Uh, more arrows. As long as you've bought it, you know it's there. That's all cool. Yeah. Uh, rations. How many rations did we use going there? No, we went one um, day. Ah. Yeah, a day's worth. I caught rabbits, didn't I? Ah, uh, you yeah. did. So, uh, you barely touched your rations, your iron rations, if that's what you got. Yep, that's what I've got. <laughs> You probably would have picked out the top layer and had a chew on some burnt jerky and ate half I'll, I'll and put it top back. off my smoke supply. Uh -huh. Cool. So, <laughs> you can just imagine him uh, bowling into an apothecary. I need some herb. <laughs> um, I'm going to wonder is there anywhere around where you can buy war arrows, Steve? Mm. Or is that. Well, there is. They're hard to get hold of. Um, you could commission some from the local smithy, but you're better if you want like good quality. 
Yep. You're probably going to want to talk to the dwarves and see if they'll make a special set. Well, no time to do that now, but yeah, right, we'll, we'll do that later. Yep. I mean, although they run the quarry, they're also known to do, um, you know, good iron work. So yeah. Very, very good smithy work. Yeah. Yep. Alrighty. That's something um, I want to do next. Yeah. And I mean, because the constabulary would, would hold some in reserve just in case they needed it. Um, yeah. And that really depends on the need as to whether or not they think they would want to sell any or not. Mm, yeah, so, I assume they'd be a quartermaster or something, but... Well, it'd be back, back to the uh, constable again. Um, yeah, just so you know, oh, that's guys, it. Just remember, that's right. um, and I'm assuming here that the priests or druids would have this knowledge, because I don't think there's any... Can you give me a uh, 1d20 save, please, Nuri? Do an hour. 1d20 save. Oops, I forgot to use my Under actual your d20. your intelligence? Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so you know this as well. Don't forget, guys, that you know about FL root. If you prepared it correctly, when made into a tincture, it will double the normal healing rate, rid body of intestinal parasites, and guard against ghoul touch. Ooh. But you depends on when you take it. Um, and um, Clem, can you give me a intelligence save, please? An intelligence save. What happens if you smoke the apple root? You wreck it. Uh, uh, that's not under my intelligence. So that's not the route of okay. administration. Um, priests, can you give me a wisdom save, please? I rolled a two. I'm going to say that that's well under my wisdom. Mm -hmm. And Lincoln? 1d20. 11. Oh. Wisdom. Pretty sure that is. Wisdom is 14. Yep. So you will know about the Merry Mallow. If you eat this plant, it induces a sleep and pleasant dreams. Oh, you hang on. Use it as a Didn't balm. we drug someone with that um, last time around? Yep, as a yep. balm and to numb the area to reduce skin complaints. Oh, that's interesting. Yep. Well, sleep. So, yeah, um, didn't we do that to, um, to Klim last time around? I'm not sure. I so he got stabbed with, stab with the stab with the needle, and then oh, he was told yeah. to chew on we something. Did, no, that, something. yeah, that was. That G was... is good with medicine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here, oh. eat this. This is good for you. Oh, you go to sleep. Okay. I'm, I'm so trusting. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, with all that, are you guys ready to set off? Yep. Yep. We want to get back there, get back in, and get our treasure. Get our corpse that's worth 300 gold. Oh, it's 300 silver. And look in the treasure room. Actually, uh, actually, did anyone buy a uh, an axe or anything that we can use to chop down a door if we need to? No. No one oh, has an axe? Silly. <laughs> I heavily suggest we buy an axe. Uh, I don't have any money left, but it's going to be necessary to get through that treasure door, maybe. Which treasure door? The door to the treasure room. Big heavy treasure door. Yeah, big heavy treasure door. We might need to like. Sit there <laughs> we didn't and even it check down. after the fucking thing had been set on fire if we hadn't burned it to the ground. Okay, true, but you know, do you want to risk maybe that it didn't burn to the ground and well, that we can't way, chop it down? If it's quite well burned, I would say by now we can probably kick it in. And All right. Uh, be... uh, if you, if you. Okay, so you make Basically. your way. Um, I'm just going to make this roll for any. I'm happy to run with counting. this for the I told you so moment. Okay. Um, mm. It's always good. <laughs> Clear, uh, no, picture. no encounter of any major note or worth or danger. Um, some farmers, um, some travellers, but that's taken as that's usually what you encounter on the roads. You take your turn off to head towards the. Um, the ruin you get up to the ruin it looks like how you left it yesterday um mm -hmm. yeah not much has changed 
Okay. If anything at all. Oh, nice. So Ooh, we'll re hide Camel in the cart. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. my spell list, Steve. Oh, yep. Thank you. Hmm. Now we shouldn't be here for long anyway, but. Hmm. Has the pile of twigs and sticks been disturbed? They don't look like they have. They might have settled a little bit, but nothing's pulled them apart or anything. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. Well, I'll start get our loot on. Yep, start clearing them away. Um... Can you just on the map, um... Matt, just make sure you can move Grubnuck around? Uh, yep, I can. Cool. Oh, the list is spelt without the I, but... Yeah, that's okay, but that, that's... Uh, yeah. He's... Yep. Well, that's yeah, how he cool. spells it, so he doesn't All know right, English. Cool. He's, yeah, he's got no idea. All right. He spells it how he thinks it sounds. All right, that's cool. What if C-A-T really spelled dog? Yes. <laughs> okay, so... Um, are you going down, removing the um, shrubbery and going down? Yeah, so removing yeah. the shrubbery. Yeah, just enough the shrubbery. that we can actually get through. I would say we don't really need to remove all of it. Nope. I would say we shouldn't need to check ahead for traps, but I can't ask Lucky, who is not, you know, whether he wants to just probe ahead of us as we go down. Uh, so just I guess sure I'll just lead the way carefully. And look uh, for if... that thing to have been reset. That's the one yeah. that I, I want to make sure that that hasn't been reset on us. Yeah, definitely. So and well, if anyone say? starts getting lightheaded, make sure you mention it, because we did burn up all of well. Possibly all of the oxygen down here. Hmm. <laughs> True. After a day, it would have equilibriated, but possibly hopefully. should should have. But yeah. yeah. So, can you sort of give me a marching order, just in the big um, rectangular box, just so I know how and where everyone's going to be when you march? So, Zuri in the front, followed by Grubnuck. Followed, uh, by... followed by Orson. Okay, I'll go behind Orson then. Yep, followed by. Who's Lucky? <laughs> Probably. The Lucky wizard, has man. just arrived. Okay, Lucky. Lucky. Yeah. Um. So sorry. Um. Where, where are we? We. Yeah, we've we've just made our way to back the, to yeah, the yeah. um dungeon, and we're heading back down to go check out uh the corpse of the big orc dude and the potentially the treasure room. No so worries. We... <laughs> the burnt beyond recognition or so they've done a bit of a spending thing so um as long as you can afford it um well um put it on your yep. list and take off the money thank you so, um, so i believe it goes Nuri, Rubnuk, Orson, Marava, Lim, and then lucky sounds mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. okay. if um Nuri notices anything that seems out of place she'll once again ask lucky if he wants to probe ahead checking for traps but it should be all good mm -hmm. but yeah if anything does seem out of place she will definitely ask again all right so she's moving down and she's going to check that one spot where there was the trip wire mm -hmm. make sure that okay. it hasn't been reset so the, the trip wire has actually reset Ooh. break it and all right a, a fine wire not a string or rope or anything. Um, right, I'm going to... It's relatively easy to step over. Just mm -hmm. have to be where it is. I'd rather if we could potentially disarm it, uh, whether Lucky wants to try that or well, not. Shouldn't we all get over it first? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, set it off so that it's just up, up the corridor again? Yeah, mm -hmm. true, that's Clim... fair enough. <laughs> yeah, Clem's staying up this time. <laughs> um, regarding my ability to disarm traps... Mm -hmm. Now that I've got some tools, right? Um, mm -hmm. Does is that just a percentage chance thing? Yep. And it's pretty poor on level one, right? No, it's uh, commensurate with your level of experience on level one. Does does anybody have a shield? Because do we know where the dart shoots out from? Yeah, and you might know exactly what put height. This, put I'll, the shield I'll, in. And... I'll grab no. Grubnuck's spear and tell him to go back up the stairs a bit, and I'll lay down in the very corner yep. of the corridor with my shield in front of me and then just push the spear yep. out in front of the shield and use it to just trip the wire. Okay. You trip the wire and you hear a small metal click, some sort of click sound. 
don't yep. really hear anything after that. It, it more sounds like a mechanism than anything else. So, um, so mm, your okay. information from that probably is that the tripwire reset, but there's been no one there to reset any actual ammunition. Yep. Alrighty. I relay this to the party and okay. Yeah. Proceed through. Okay. Right. Lucky once checked that door that they were attempting to brick up to make sure no one's opened that and come in as well. Uh, you're talking about the doorway down here. Yep. I just want to make sure no one's opened it or come through because it was halfway through being boarded up. Mm -hmm. I think just... we're just going to check on treasure first. Uh, mm -hmm. And and the orc. I mean, we, yep. we assume he's dead, but yeah. I'm going to carefully walk up. Mm-hmm. So all the, oh hang on, I just need to take all remind, the little lights off because they are all gone. Remind Who's got a light source? Loyalty's liar. Orson. Orson's got a light source, so it sort of covers a large area. Of course it doesn't go through walls, but it covers a fairly large area. Um, Nuri, you turn the corner and just have a look. What you can yeah, see is, you can, you can see the dead body of the wolf and the wolf, and the goblin, and, um, mm -hmm. hang on, let me take that away, um, this goblin here, that goblin there actually scarpered, so he's no longer there, um, but there's no rut mark <laughs> on the ground. What you can it. see is, uh, um, a grieve, you know, uh, um, a forearm grieve that he was wearing, you recollect. A grieve, um, okay. The, we, the roots and stuff that made the fairy fire is gone, although they, they did break a lot of the tile coming up and growing, so that's still there, that, that's a, just a, a consequence of that, so it's all really rough in sort of um, that area, like, about the area of the spell mm. which was like that whole rectangle about 10 feet wide and around about 30 feet long yep yep um looking to your left quickly um you can tell that um the doors have um actually taken a lot of damage um and actually are open inward all righty well uh, i relay back to the group that Rutmart is not here, so we should stay on our. We should stay on a lot. If he's been a, only able to crawl in there. I I poke my head inside the store over here, Steve. Just make yeah. sure the. There's still three dead bodies there. Cool. Nothing else. Sweet. Yeah. Uh... Well, Lucky's going to also just quickly make a comment that nope. that grieve there still looks mighty like uh, proof of proof of the deed being done. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'll, yeah. I'll pick it up. And... You need something to go with it. Okay, you pick yeah. it up, and it, it's got a little bit of weight. You look inside, and oh, you can see somebody's skin of ash. that's been burnt to the inside of the groove that's been ripped off somebody. All right. Does, does, anybody, does yes. anybody here know anything about tracking, or is there any obvious signs of him dragging himself, or... Uh, maybe, he was, maybe he was maybe he was bleeding his blood on sides of the corridor. If those doors are opened inwards, he could be hiding in there trying to heal up. Yeah, well, that's that's what I'm getting yeah. at. Are there any mm. indications of which no. it, direction he may have gone? Uh, as I no? said, that whole, all that tile is broken up because of the roots that came out. And that's just, so it's very yep. hard to track anything. You'd probably need... You could try, but you'd probably need a specialist to actually be able to discern tracks in that yep. situation. That's fine. Having said that, I suggest we all stick together and re-clear the place quickly before I want to look in those open doors. I don't want to leave something in there if something's in there. Yeah, that's what I mean by clear the place, but stick together. We're, we're, we're standing You're right still, here right now. Yeah, we're, where are you? You're like all the way up there. He's all the way at the top because he hasn't come in with the rest. Yeah. Uh, shit, I just bad. want to move him over there. All right, I'm, I'm eating dinner. <laughs> all right. Yep. All right, so I'll pull out my long sword and shield then. Mm -hmm. Tell Grubnuck to stand behind me and mm -hmm. maybe Lucky, you'd be ready to and just peer through the door. Okay, so what you can see is... I'm 
give you a description very quickly. Where is the... Ah, where did I put that? Ah. Excellent. Second, I just did a huge cleanup. And of course you never find anything after a huge cleanup. There it is. Rightio, so that's that room there. And that room there is that one. So... So what you can tell is, as you look a bit closer there, Neri, um, the door has taken some damage, but mm -hmm. um, hanging in the door is a set of keys in the lock that's actually opened it. Mm, okay. Um, so obviously, yeah. Um, so this one is a bit odd. You you see a few coins on the ground, um, mm -hmm. and a few. Um, the, the, there's a few this room kind of looks really like a disused office okay does um, it look like there were chests there that have been emptied and well you, you see know? some coins uh, and I'm going to say a few I'm talking about three or four scattered on the ground um, there's some other bits yep. and pieces it looks like um, there was um what else? There was a few um, weapons that have been left, um, some odd other commodities, and sort of um, on top of the pile, just slightly under the pile of commodities. Um, so the commodities would be things like um, candelabra, um, a, a, a few things, but not a lot. You know, you're not yep. talking about a huge treasure. And uh, what looks like some sort of material. Um, not quite sure whether it's a bag or a hat or a, 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 a some sort of worked material, um, possibly leather. You're not sure, but that's yep. what you can see in the room. All right, um, I'm surmising that you know, obviously he came in here, relaying this to the group, but because the uh, nothing was disturbed up above where we came in, and we haven't actually found any exits from the dungeon yet, he's either still down here or there's another exit somewhere. The boarded up door, which I strongly su suspect links to some of these other underground places with other denizens. Yeah. It's, it's good. Um, it, if it's linked up to them, it's good there'll, insight. Be, there'll be another escape yeah. elsewhere. Or he's taking right. the river further in. Right. So yeah. I say we need to Show search this seat. room first. Hmm? Pardon? I say we search this room first for like what else is in it because it's like what's the bag, what's the. Yeah, yeah. Thing. So let's have a quick search through what yep. we can see. Okay, who goes into the room? I'd like to actually uh, very cautiously see if I can enter the room while looking for traps. Mm -hmm. I want to sort of know more what could be hiding around that corner. Oh, corners, well, he's, doors, he's going, corners. He's gone in there. So, um, what is your chance to check the traps, please? Um, oh. Lucky? Two seconds, I think it's 20. Um, mm hmm. Uh, let me just check them. <clears throat> Sorry. To... All right, my table says. Can I have this up open beforehand? Uh, okay, check for tr find, remove traps, 20%, yep. Okay. Um, as you go through, you, you just take a second, you, you stop yourself, have a second look at the door. Um, you notice that on the locks, had you not been able to unlock the door, there is a very fine poison needle trap on this door. Well, that's always fun. unlocked with the key, which is still mm. in the keyhole. Um... You, yeah, it, that sort of deactivates the lock at the same time, uh, the the trap at the same time. Mm. So, uh -huh. but that, apart from that, that's about the only trap you believe you found that's exactly. <laughs> can it oh, be locked from the inside as well? Uh, uh, if he asks me that, I'll, I'll check and yep, see yep, without yep, touching. Can, much. It can. Yeah, it um, can be. And as oh, you sort of search around, um, the other things that you're aware of. Um, 
There's not a big, burly, angry creature no, in the corner. There's nothing else in there. Um, cool. There's around about 250 pounds of random commodity stuff around. Um, but also, you can find um, three light crossbows, um, two long bows, two long swords, three spears, and a maul. And what looks like a hat. Oh, wait. How fancy are we talking? The hat. Yes. Um, it's a bit of a slouch Mage -like. hat. Mage-like? Oh, yeah. No, it's a bit of a hmm. slouch hat. It's, it's got a nice rim on it, um, like sewn rim. Um, but it's like you put it on, you can set it perhaps at a, at, a, at a jaunty angle, perhaps, I don't know. But um, the interesting thing is it looks like it hasn't had much wear, um, but it looks very nice. Yes. Clem uh, can do with a new hat. Everyone else is following you into the room. After um, the search, I'll be picking that up and, uh, form, like, you know, I would like to say fingering it fondly, but that sounds really dirty. <laughs> um, one thing I'm doing once there is, well, I don't know how many people are in the room, but yep. at well, some point, once the area is clear enough, I'm going to position the door so that the poison needle trap will be aiming at a harmless location right. and then well, remove, okay. remove the keys from the door and pocket them. Mm-hmm. Um, yep, so, so that triggers the needle. You, you well, the good thing is, is that, that if it can be locked from the inside, the that makes a good safe room. Is a bit, it still oh. stinks a little bit of smoke, and it is a little thin, as in perhaps just owls are a little bit more sensitive to that. Um, at the moment, nothing dangerous, but good to be mindful to people. Um, exertion down here, if you were to exert yourself, you could find that you could be using up most of the oxygen pretty quickly. Okay. So as long mm. as you take it sensibly, you should be okay. That suggests that the river that's underground has sections both upstream and downstream where the uh, roof of the cave uh, is underwater, like the water level hits the roof of the cave. So mm -hmm. Quite possibly. So there's, there's no oxygen freely fl flowing through there or it would be way less faint mm -hmm. in here. So, um, as I said, so you've got um, three light crossbows, two long bows, two long swords, three spears and a maul, that mm -hmm. odd-looking hat, and about 250 pounds of random commodity stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, Klimma, uh, magic user cannot use a maul. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, they can use a maul extremely badly. Sorry, I misworded that. I thought mauls were just like banners. <laughs> the big well, hammer. Mauls They're are not like monstrous hammers. Um, the yeah, maul, the head on the end of the maul is bigger than the average head. Mm, that head. must be fun getting hit with it. Mm. <laughs> um, how many keys are on this key ring, by the way, Steve? Just the one. Oh, I thought you said it was uh, several Sorry, keys. No, on just, the... just the oh, one. Okay. Just one. Might work on, on several. A big pod. sort of um, iron ring. Jailer's sort of ring. So if we, yeah, I think some, someone said something about a safe room before. Um, if we I were to lock the door, yeah, becomes would a it bit hold of a safe up? Room. Would it hold up, bearing the damage it's that's damaged, been done to but, it? From um, the... These are pretty thick doors. All right. It, it would take a significant... The other thing is, uh, is that if someone tries to break into it, remember it sets the trap off. Yep, that's true. <laughs> yep, and they would have had to break into it. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. <laughs> So I say, if we want to leave the treasure behind now, we can leave the. Yeah, we can leave it, leave it piled up and lock it. I'll and ask around the you dungeon. Could check ladies and chaps, if you mind, if I take this hat with me, I want to see what it looks like on later. Be my guest. I don't know what anyone else would like to say, but yeah, <laughs> I agree with see piling up the treasure hat. in that door, in in that room, and locking it. Mm -hmm. And sorry, Austin, did you say you wanted to go and check that I Bongo? Said, uh, yeah, I want to check Bongo's room and make sure he's not hiding in there. Okay. Knowing yep. for well, at the moment, the only door that we can gain entry through should be this one this here, one? because the yep. bodies should all be piled up in front of this one. Mm-hmm. Ready? So, I'll come up with you. go for a wander. Oh, you no, just want to go for a wander yourself, or? No, 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 no. I suggest we stick together. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to lurk along behind. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
you sort of go in there and um, yeah, Bongo, the um, goblins that you chuck the in there and his are walls still... are all still piled up busily. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not but even no watching yet. But no one's... this room is still full with quite a lot of smoke, although it has sort of settled a bit. Yeah. But it is a much more stronger, um, not okay, cool. getting cool. access to the um, thing as much. Can you... Um, okay, as you... There's two of you there, yes? Yeah. Who's three? You? Yeah. You and Nuri. Nuri okay, and yeah. Mario. So, uh, Orson, can you give me a one d eight roll and Nuri, give me a one d six roll, please. A one. Two. Okay. Um, you're not sure, Orson, but there's something weird about that north wall. Outside this wall of here. His, yeah, outside of his um room. I mm -hmm. will give it a better investigation and call. We don't have a dwarf on the party. Um, um, you have an elf. So lucky. And then elf. I point out to Neri, does this wall look odd to you for some reason? I don't know. Mm. Just something, you know. I think it deserves way. more of an the, appraisal. The second elf will walk over as well. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'll start um, appraising the wall. Keeping an okay. eye out on these right. hallways, by the way, while they're meandering. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I want to so remind if, if everyone. Are, you need to also add. Are we talking answer. about loose sort of rocks, as in no, like something, something like odd? You can't dug out. Your hand or... out. And Nuri, your roll. Your second one um, has been pointed out to you. On D6. Okay. Yep. No. No, you look at it and you. You'll go, oh, I'm not sure what they're seeing, but oh, what are you I'll seeing? Apply what? some weight to it. Mm, nothing much happens. I run um, my hands along it looking for any seams, mm -hmm. and if it's covered in dust or whatever, I try to sort of uh, brush a line of it off horizontally to see if I can. the seam is maybe covered by dust. No, there's nothing that you can really put your... We'll wait for Marava to come around then. Uh -huh. no, he's there. He's he's had a look. He can't oh, okay. really see anything oh. himself. He's lucky. meandering he about there. No, yeah, lucky. lucky he Lucky's gonna get interested. He's gonna come around and just, I don't know, blindly poke and prod things, hoping for the best. Mm -hmm. What's the rolls room? Um, no, no, I've done the roll stuff. Oh, no worries. Yeah, that's all cool. Um, no, you guys, this Orson's. He just thinks there's something odd about that section on the wall, okay. but there's nothing obvious that any of all four of you can make out from it. Hey, do uh, little gobbos have much knowledge of stones and caves and undergrounds? Yeah, yeah actually, uh, I point at the wall and ask Lester, you, in Goblin, have you ever seen anyone down here do anything with this wall section here? No. No, you sure? Does he have like a uh, racial kind of knowledge of caves and dark places though? Or would something look weird to him? You ask him to look, do you? Yeah, I'll ask him to have a look at the wall and see if he sees anything strange about it. Does anyone have a torch? Well, I've got the lantern, but... Remember, it is still quite smoky in this area. Um, yeah, if you, if you unhood the lantern... charcoal or any... Yo, thing that we can use to outline Lester, what we think. The well, grubnuck sort of goes up to the wall and sort of <laughs> sniffs at it and um, moves. Well, it doesn't really move anything. He's just just looking at it and sniffing at it. Um, and sorry, just give me a second. That makes me his nose gets cut off. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> poke something and dies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. He sort of goes, he goes, oh look, look, he's talking to Nuri. He can make uh -huh. the, the front point of his spear disappear under the bottom of the wall. Okay. It, it okay. Like, like half an inch, but... So it's like a cavity do down that. there. Yeah, spears aren't supposed to be able to do that. It yeah. Wall. It looks like it's a cavity, right, that he's pushing it into? Yeah, something. It doesn't look like it's just disappearing into a flat wall. It looks like it's disappearing into a space below the wall. Probably. That's the best way to describe it. Right. Well, I'm going to get down. Firstly, I'm just going to remind everybody how dangerous Rutmut is. 
and that opening any door and having him standing in front of you is going to be very bad for you. So um, until we find him, we've got to stick together. Um, and then I'm going to get down on the, my hands and knees and have a look at this weird cavity that um, Rubnuck seems to have found. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, would, I, I kind of meander over and ask him if he wouldn't mind if I have a quick look for any kind of uh, traps or hazards just briefly beforehand. Um, you put your hand in there and lose it, do you? Yeah, be my guest. Be my guest. You do that. I'm actually going to call Grubnuck up with me, and um, while you're boy, while you're checking that out, I'm going to let the group know it's I'm going to open here, this way. open and this door. As, as you're sort of looking, um, you're looking for around the wall. You know, doing your normal check, very very slowly, very lightly mm -hmm. touching the wall, the area, all that sort of stuff. And then, I oh, know, <laughs> slightly, just slightly off the side. So it's actually just off to the left side. Um, as you do that, you notice that your finger. There's a slight indentation that your finger just finds. Um, it doesn't push in, so you sort of push both ways, and it pushes something. The, the the stone seems to be moving or wanting to move to the left. I'll um I'll I'll before I push too far. That's going to commit to whatever this is doing. I'll be I'll be like ushering the party over to me and telling him what I found. All right, man. I'll stand over him with my long sword, mm -hmm. with Grub Knight next to me with a spear. Mm -hmm. Well, having said that, who knows what could happen if you activate this thing? Maybe you should just like hunched against the wall or to the floor while you activate it and maybe if you know if there's a trap that goes off you've probably got a better chance of avoiding it than if we're all just standing in front of it yep you're right um so you have i will be, you so, have to be standing on the left side of it uh your hand is by Orson, basically Clem, Clem yeah, says, okay. hey, yep. hey uh, if anything goes wrong, I'm basically, I guess, going to have to try what backwards mm. roll into that room. <laughs> yeah, I'm Clem. here. I'm I'm here for you as well. So, yeah. Clem, cool. hey guys, hey guys, do you like uh, remember these fireball traps I read about? Mm. Can other people hear Clem? Or oh, have I still got him muted from ages ago? Yeah, yeah, you've no, got a mute. You might have a mute. He said, does oh, anyone remember the fireball traps he talked about ages ago? Mm. After he mentions that, I usher the rest of the group back while our lucky does his thing. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> um, right. Like, okay. Quite a ways. Are you doing your action now, lucky? Yep. I'm feeling lucky. Let's do this. Okay. A door slowly pulls open. Um, and this is what is seven. oh god blinding light no <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's not that or a hulking figure that looks like it's pissed off right. it's a small room and at the edge of your vision is a skeleton oh uh -huh. um what can i tell you small room it's hasn't been there there's a small normal sized cobwebs um there is a fair bit of this this place gives you the feeling that it hasn't been disturbed for a while there's not thick dust but there is a layer of dust that you can your trained eye would see lucky yep um, this place hasn't been disturbed for a good many decade or plus perhaps years oh oh intriguing um, who's got the lantern? Because I'll need them to be coming with me, yeah? Orson. I'll be summoning up Orson and cautiously stepping into the room, keeping an eye out for... right behind you anyway, so... Oh, cool. Keeping an eye out for other weird traps or things for this, uh, Oops. tomb. So you get to see the remainder of the room, and that's all that is. Um, the skeleton, um... A withered skeleton lying against the far wall, clutching its size as if to staunch an old wound. Um, next to it, you can see a small, dry, rotted um, pouch, which seems to be fat with coins. Ooh. As a couple have spilled out where it's cracked open. 
Yep. Um, there is some furniture in here, but most of it has rotted and withered away. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, I'll cautiously mosey on up, try and keep mm -hmm. an eye for anything abnormal at all. Mm -hmm. Uh, poke at the pouch before I pick it up with like my dagger or something. <laughs> it, it, it does tend to split open. It's quite old and des um, not desiccated, but quite old. So it will tear quite easily, and the coins will, of course, be. How, uh, how big is this, by the way? Sorry. How big is what? The the sack bag, the bag coins. coins. Um, yeah. Well, in it so far, you um, it's sort of open now. You do a you're pretty relatively pretty quick with counting this small amount of money. There's about twenty six yep. silver and around about forty copper. Mm. No worries. Um, um, I mentioned to him that if something, as in a person, killed this guy, then it probably would have taken the gold. So maybe be careful. He could have died of a trap that was sprung, or he could have. Well, I mean, it's like he's been stabbed in the side based on the wound that he's uh, clutching. Clutching, oh. right? Yeah. He said that was authority, and I trust him. So could have been <laughs> shot from an arrow out of the wall or anything. But yeah. Um, so anyway, um, obviously, I, I suggest yeah. collecting the coins. What was it? Sorry, twenty-six silver and, and forty copper. copper. Um, lucky, are you apart from trying to retrieve retrieve the coins? Are you having a closer look at anything else? Uh, I feel like I'm my my instincts uh, insist that like I do. Yeah, I was about to say check over the uh, is there any of his armor. Um, no, his, he had clothes that's all sort of gone, but as you check in closer, um, you can see Rings. lying under him is a short sword. Um, mm -hmm. It definitely shows sign of age. Um, it could probably be brought back up to usable standard. Um, and there's some sort of, possibly it's parchment, that mm -hmm. sort of lot his chest is lying on. Okay, so we'll... Uh... Very, very carefully lift him. Oh, well, actually, I'll, I'll you know say some some you know pious words. Sorry for disturbing your uh, your remains. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And we will lift him carefully off the parchment, mm -hmm. so as not to disturb the parchment too much. And mm -hmm. uh, it does look a little bit delicate. The parchment. Um, mm -hmm. It's it's not falling to pieces, but yeah, then it sort of gives you the impression if you're going to open and close it many times, it's probably going to um, end up splitting. Yeah. So, like I say, with the most delicate of sort mm -hmm. of things, I'll try and, without you know picking up and manhandling it too much, try and see what's on it okay, without picking very, it up. Just, just slowly sort of open it. Um, the impression you sort of get is... It's, it's been here for a while. Um, the ink that they used on this parchment obviously has faded, So, and you're in torchlight, so that doesn't give you the best look at something. Oh, lantern. Um, but yeah. um, this sort of gives the impression it's a map of, to something. Okay, uh, I will attempt to scroll down as much as I can. Oh, you, you can't see a lot. Yeah, probably oh, okay then. Parchment. I was about to say, we'll take it outside, yeah, so very, very carefully we'll um, attempt to uplift it. Uh, actually, we'll yeah. get Lucky, who's a little bit extra Are we sure we can that, take it outside without you know, destroying it? Is there gonna... any way we can increase the light in the room instead of having to move it? Maybe we could start another bonfire. Wilson has, well, has to move it to see what it is. Mm. Okay, but I mean, it. instead of moving it all the way up into the sunlight, could we just maybe get another lantern so that he can copy <laughs> what's on it onto another piece of parchment without copying a map potentially is destroying it? Several days. Mm. Okay, it's that big of a map. Okay. Yeah. Can okay. I, if we look at it, is is there any like familiar landmarks of no really famous things around here? No. no? Apart from it being faded, it gives the impression of a map, but you're not sure. Yeah, there's. Something Alrighty. odd about it. Something odd about it. No, oh, mate. Uh, this, this, this warrants bloody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. And what are the short sword? Uh, I'll grab that up very cautiously. Shit! <laughs> Caution to the uh, wind. I'll, I'll pick it up gingerly. I've, 
Are there any rings around where his bony fingers are or no, anything, Steve? No amulets? No. Nothing like that? No. Alright. Um, alrighty. Well, Alrighty, other, well... Nothing else, no other hidden little alcoves or anything like that we can spy. If you want to spend time searching. Oh. I think we've got a job to do, fellas. And... Yeah, yeah, we have, no, we have we pressing. Fine. We, can, we can come back for this part. Launch pad, McDouche. Yeah, but right now there's an extremely dangerous orc somewhere okay. that could cut us down at any moment, so... And I don't really want to end up like old mate here, so... Yeah, I suggest we go back to clearing, checking every room, but together, because no one really wants to... I mean, if we open a door and he's in there, we want me to be standing in the front, I mean... And I want the exit behind me. <laughs> yeah, don't want Clem to open a door and then have an orc rupture him and step through him into the body. Ah, just waste him with my stuff. Yeah, just, just fight her him out. Yeah, yep. Outfight her him. It'll happen. Okay, Alright. So, which is your Check. next room? Checking this door. No, we already did. Um, Somebody already did. Oh, Maravar already, already did. Mm. Oh, someone's already so the, next one would be, the next one would be the one at the end of the hallway here. Alright, well, let's go do that one. Okay, so that, that oh, hang on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. Sorry, I was going to say before we actually twaddle too much further off, I actually want to set up across sort of here. I got a couple of pitons, a piece of rope, and probably some small jingly bits, just in the hopes that if anything does try and crawl out of the... there, we might hear it Alrighty. bounce into, trip over, or do something stupid. Okay. Well, Sounds good. Uh, roughly about here, you see some sort the of... party assist um, you. Some sort of marks Wait, on prints. the uh, tiles, and they, yeah, so they they're all sooty to and... be leading... Oh, sorry. They appear to be leading that way. Yeah, so there's sooty, sooty marks. Yep. Mm. Yeah, um, there's yep. a tiny bit of soot. There's a tiny bit of blood. There's mm. the odd piece of what is also, you'd probably know that it's sort of charred flesh. Um, mm. Does been, it smell like bacon? No, it doesn't. Um, that's been, um, you've only ever seen this once before on a body that's been burnt. And hasn't been burnt through throat full. Hasn't been burnt through fully, and so the the skin tends to peel off. Mm. Right. Mm. So like I say, I'll set up my little alarm trap. Mm -hmm. The entry there, and then uh, we will move on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just go and clear clear the rest of the place methodically, pretty much, Steve. Yeah. Just going room by room so if you just want to. this room down here, just let you know um, each that room. you're looking yep, at the room. other end of the corridor. Um, yep. It doesn't really look that disturbed. There's still the dead body of the other orc still orc there. Although, yep. he's been put in a resting pose. Hmm. As if, Someone like... Took time to do that. Like, you know, like... Um, you do for a dead body. Yeah, like paying his paying him respect, like rest in mm. peace, brother. Sort of Whereas thing. Bongo, nothing like that. Nothing to the um, other um, goblins. Well, if Rutmut had that much respect for this orc, I'm so glad we killed him when he was still sleeping. <laughs> like a true hero is how yeah. I roll. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Well, I guess we move down to which one didn't have the uh, thing they were trying to block up. We should check that one first, right? This the one, one that just ends in a nothing. Yeah, all right. Well, okay. Um, that's where they were trying to block up. Yeah, so we'll check this one first and then we can check down there. Okay, so that's that room. So, um, there's, as I said, there's um, a couch, chairs, tables, all very good and nothing matching. Um, most of them look relatively new, although they're now all smoke sort of um, damaged. Um, mm -hmm. The one thing that you do notice is that the drawers have been pulled out, and while some bits have been flung around, um, your your guess is that there must there have been something in. in here that somebody wanted. Someone may have been collecting some things before yeah, had making stuff. his escape. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'll check just through here. 
Does it look like he found what he was looking for, or does it look like? Does well, it look yeah, like no, a that Somebody was looking for something. Oh, um, oh, sorry. And they may have found it. They might not have. Yeah, yeah. I want to give it a good old thief's look. If if uh, if mm -hmm. that's all cool. Okay, so uh, um, Nuri, while you're looking in there, um, it just looks like a you know an orc nest sort of thing. Um, although you do notice. Um, as you sort of, with your sword, sort of push through the, the pallet and that sort of stuff, um, mm. you come across another another key on another iron ring. Um, mm -hmm. Lucky, as you're sort of going through the stuff, there's some paper, there's some very crudely drawn stuff that you're not sure what it is because it's probably orcish. Um, there's some spear ink, um, some quills, um, there's some very rude looking little doodles. Um, and the rest is sort of very low grade sort of stationary stuff really um, nothing of any great worth you might, low -grade take, stuff. you might want to take the papers that have already been drawn on to see if they mean anything yeah um, I asked Lester if he speaks orcish or can read mm, orcish nope, nope. alright um, well, so yeah goes. so that, that's about lucky that's about the only thing that sort of strikes you I mean if you could get some of this furniture out and if it wasn't smoke damage you could probably pass it off as something a bit more expensive and actually sell it for a, a nice coin yeah. <laughs> but the problem is it's smoke damage you can see the damage and do you want to try to cart it all the way back to the city of the town no no i was more thinking of as um if it looks like people have been ransacking areas that this is one place that looks like apart from the other treasure room this looks like it's a place that's been looked through Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, no worries. Cool. And there was nothing really in here except where was the key on the ring? Was it that in was, the door? Um, underneath a, sort of a, a loose pillow that was on the rest of the pallet. Ah, uh, and that's in this room? Yeah. Yep, I'll just grab that ring, uh, grab that and yep. pocket it, grab the key and pocket it, yeah. Yep. Oh, righty. Okay, and then I guess we proceed to the um the door down here yeah. wouldn't we yeah so yep. um again it's that same sort of thing with um the leftmost door so you got a door straight ahead which has been kicked in and the door to the left and mm -hmm. like we said last time that that door to the left not only is locked boarded up and partially it is also partially bricked up yeah okay um and yeah, um, Grubnut looks like he's never been in here because he's looking around like, you know, oh, I wonder what's in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I point to the you, door and yeah. ask Grubnut, has he, does he know anything about this door here? Chase is here, said no, Grubnut always told us to stay out of this room. Okay. Interesting. Did you see, right, okay. Did you see anyone doing this work in here? Was Did Grubnut come in here? Did any of the other goblins uh, come in here? No other goblins, just the orcs and Bongo. Oh, I see. Interesting. Um, all right, well, I step into the room. Mm -hmm. um, sort of, uh, okay, this room, did we check this room fully in the end? No. Nope. All right, well, yeah, now we're in new territory, guys. So I guess we should probably appraise this door that's been partially bricked up. Is there any, I mean, I know it's been boarded up and semi-bricked up, but is there any uh, space where you could peek through? No. It's on the other side? No. Sorry, I, I just wanted to, like, shit, am I muted, actually? Can you hear me? No, no. we can hear you. Oh, I just wanted to confirm, does it look like it's in the process of being boarded up or it was boarded up and it's in the process of being unboarded? It's in the process of being bricked up. Bricked it's up, all right. boarded over and then in front of those is a set of bricks. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been bricked up. Only halfway, though. Mm. All right. Well, we've still got a room ahead of us that we need to check, so... That's that's where I found the girl. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, but did... Uh, oh, I just asked Steve, have we checked the room fully? Because what's this little spiky bit? No, no, I, I, I kicked it in, grabbed the girl, and legged it. Oh, okay. All right, I'm well, saying. I poked my head in. Okay, well, I'm assuming that awesome will come down to you, so you've got light. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah. So, it, yes, this is that temporary um, holding cell. The other interesting thing is um, to your left where it narrows down and then turning left again, you see a sort of a V. It's um, basically um, 
and a sort of an arrow slit. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You. It just okay. goes in the dark, but you can see the light actually go through the arrow slit. And basically, what you can see. So it's an arrow slit into the opening they're boarding up, basically, is sort of what you're so, saying? Like, yeah, this is what you can see. Just give me a second. So if Orson holds the light to the arrow slit and I take a little look-see, yeah. All right. Mm. So, I mean, mm. the, the, obviously, there's obviously... You can enemy. see. There's this corridor about five foot wide. You can see a little bit of the other wall, but um, the arrow slit being very narrow, you can't really get to see much. Alrighty. There's definitely something behind the door. Yep. Um, I was wondering if, um, with my little pocket mirror on a stick type thing, if I could fit that through the arrow slit to kind of peek around the bend. What bend? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, well, like I think like, he means, like, like, if he can yeah. peek down this way using his mirror on a just stick, like a poke just it through just so he can see down okay. here a bit. Right, so it won't. You don't have much of an angle, obviously, because um, yep. it won't fit to the slit. But yep. the angle that you will get will show you that there's a wall part there. Sorry, a wall part where? Yeah. Will you see how it angles away? Um. Madison's with Peter's. Sorry, hang on. I'm We've searched all of the rooms in here, mm -hmm. and the entrance wasn't disturbed. So either there's a secret exit, or I reckon he walked out through the waterway. No, yeah, well, the we're fairly bit. sure he went through the waterway. Um, we're going to need probably more evidence to prove that we killed him. Do you? Okay, my thoughts on this are that the place would be more aired out if that waterway was wasn't submerged um, from both directions. So. Does anybody think that he would have actually survived the waterway in his armor? Yes. Yes. Was a hundred percent. He was yeah. a beast of a man, and honestly, if we faced him in fair combat, we will be dead. It feels like. <laughs> mm, so find him while he's still fucked. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe. Still fucked to... is one way to put it. Still angry is another another way I might consider it. Well, I'm willing to take a swim down there with a rope attached to me. Well, that is fun. insanity, and I shall take no part in it. <laughs> uh, uh, so we call it there for the night, though, and we can think on it and come back with ideas next week. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Now well, I was just going to sort of check it out, and then you guys can pull me back, you know, if I have to. No, honestly, if you're going to go into an underground waterway in any way, shape, or form, no. I'm just, it seems suicidal. Well, it's with not... a rope attached to me so that you can pull me out, though. Like, I'm not, I don't going, know. Under, I'm not going under. Yeah. It's At not underwater here. Out, guys. It's What's not that? underwater here. I mean, like, it's this. There's still. You can still, like, stand at the surface and breathe here. But we just yeah. don't know what's down further. Like, uh, I was just offering just... to have a little bit of a look so we knew. To... <laughs> just in real life, I don't even like going in the ocean because I can't trust the creatures I can't see in a fantasy setting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, Cthulhu's <laughs> only around the corner. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, well, but, you yeah. know. No, it's definitely Betting, distrusting yeah, water. Yeah, Betting on a crack dun not, in this yeah, dungeon yeah. river, there's going to be an Arboleth, and that's going <laughs> to take him the fuck out. Yeah, well, and just consider yourself as fishing with me as bait then. I mean, well, I feel like we don't frequent the same places as orcs do very often, so to speak, that we're not anything to worry about. We've, you know, we've got the gauntlet with some charred flesh. He's as good as dead. Let's get paid and go on a next adventure. He's not dead. Ugh. Well, if no. he's dead, if he, if he is dead, his body's going to be just up ahead in one of these. Uh, I repeat you know, what downstream. I said. Downstream, tap, basically. tap my nose as in, no, he's dead. Yeah, yeah. well, of course. Yeah, we're going to try and claim he's dead. Whether they'll believe that or not. Yeah, and when he's on the resurface something up. Copycat or yeah. trying to cash in off his fame to start up a new band. It's just a PR spin, guys. Come on. I'd like <laughs> to actually kill him rather than yeah, have him do something messed up later, yeah. I mean I, I wasn't I wasn't planning on, you know, going for a swim down here. I was just suggesting we get a bit of a look around the corner. I'm, a, I'm attached to a rope. You guys can pull me out. Just you know how much what armor did he have on Steve, by the way? 
how 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 weighed down was he? Um, he was in um, uh, the one up from Chain. Okay, uh, so he was logically so, so he was fairly weighed down. But logically speaking, right, he's burning and on fire and obviously, you know, he's ripped his glove off, his flesh is peeling off as he goes. He runs to the river. You'd Jumps think if, if he didn't make it back, then who came back and calmly used the key to open the room and look around and grab things and check the other rooms and lay that dude to rest? No, I feel like he was beast enough that he just ripped his helmet off because it was burning to his head. The grieve. He went around. Grieve the helmet. The, the grieve, sorry. Uh, went around like, and collected his things, it. and then, yeah, I guess left via the river. Yeah, and no, other way, I, I, I'm. Or his unconscious corpse has been dragged to the river. You know. What did it look like, Steve? Does it look like there's suit marks on the wall? Does it, it look like maybe like he was like stumbling like and put his hand barbecue. on the wall for support or something? Um, nothing appears to be on the wall. No marks no. with blood or anything like that. No. And mm. the the marks that Orson felt were more in the middle of the hallway. Yeah, I feel like we could easily analyze like the blood and stuff and figure out whether he was being dragged or whether he was on his own. CSA. I'm just, um, I'm just going to have a look in the water and see if he's yeah. lying just below the surface, having sunk with all his armor on. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. You're putting your head in. <laughs> so, um, Klim, as I said um, to, I think it was Nitty, it's very hard to tell in this light how deep that water is, and it does tend to have a very dark um, surface. Um, oh, you do have a quarter staff, I, I think. I'm not sure. Yes, I'm going to Actually, probe. We both do, so yeah, I'll start probing too. Immediately to my front. Rio. So, um, you don't actually get anything from that. You are, when you whack something, you're whacking what you probably consider would be stone, because it's that hard, a hard whack as opposed to something that's soft like a body might that's caught underneath or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, and but we can you, reach the bottom. Um, there's parts where you won't, and there's parts where you will. Um, there's probably a very small, slight ledge about a foot out from the edge that would you both guesstimate would be around about five feet below the the surface of the water. You go past that foot, and it just disappears. Just keeps going down. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I I don't know. Take my um, belt off. As you, as also as you're there, because you are in a slightly different place now. Um, I'm just going to just give me a second to mark the edge of the light. Ooh. Sorry, it takes a while. Here you go. Uh -huh. Let's see what you can um. Ah, uh, the water is dark, etc. Can I request that they turn off the lanterns temporarily and allow me to adjust for my infravision and have a look at the water in that in that sense? Mm -hmm. Sorry. If you want to. Yep. If we could do that and just let my eyes adjust. Okay. So let's say you take about five ten minutes to get all that done. Yep. Um. So. Yeah, yep. that's so cool. And you've got to Why don't we just jump in and see where it takes us? Well, yeah, yeah I was yeah. going to say I'm simultaneously taking off my sword belt and just going to have a dagger and tying a rope around myself and dropping my backpack in the corner. And um, I was just going to have a bit of a swim and that's just sort of have what you can see beyond yeah. the light of the lantern. Okay. And the water is, sorry, I have yet to mention that, sorry. Uh, the water is definitely flowing this direction. How fast is it flowing? It's Would it be filling... hard to maintain footing? Or is it? It depends on how deep you are. Um, Alrighty. If, if it got above your thigh, the, the force would probably you'd start to have difficulty maintaining footing. Alrighty. Um, well, I'm going to tie the rope around myself and take my quarter staff with me. Mm -hmm. and st is everyone on board with pulling me back, etc.? Because for some reason, Lucky seemed like he didn't want anything to do with it. Seems like madness. Is all right. It? Well, your life. It's gonna be um gonna be tough rope. pulling you back against the flow of the river. There's <laughs> like five of you. 
Yeah, but that's assuming it's only the river pulling you. Okay, well, if a giant sea beast eats me, then, you know, even a you have, you have a story to tell. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, uh, Steve, okay, if a, mm -hmm. if a sea beast was in the water and I didn't have any normal light interfering with my infravision, would I be able to see it through if the water? Because it would be... not the same temperature as the water, easily. I was yeah. going to say, what about all the predators that, like, also have been hunting things with infravision and therefore have adapted to get around it? I've read that in some of those weird books. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. There, there, there may be some creatures that are able to maintain the exact same temperature as the water, but most things would, due to energy being used by them, would be a slightly difference. different temperature. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah. Anyway, so so the question basically was: Are you going to help pull if it comes down to it, Lucky? Jesus. Oh, of Christ. course, I'm not going to leave you. Right. I'm going to help pull until so, it seems hopeless, and then I'm out of here. Okay. So, with God the forbid. Length, the length of so the you said rope just you have, yeah, uh -huh. will yep. get you to roughly the edge of the light source, even though the light source at the moment is off. Um, Alrighty. If you turn it back on, but roughly that edge there will be how far you can travel down with that rope tied around you. Alrighty. I take my quarter staff to poke around in front of me, mm -hmm. and um. Sorry, you said if it goes up to my thigh, I assumed it was going to be up way above that. Uh, well, as I said, um, your poles have already detected a foot ledge, but that's already yep. five feet under the water level. That's already how five feet, yeah, okay. How tall are you? So, uh, that's what I got checked. You're five foot four or something. Uh, we never rolled for that, did we? Uh, uh -huh. Did we roll for that? Elves are usually pretty short. Yeah. So I'm five foot four. So yeah, I'm going to be taking off my belt and stuff. I'm going to be sort of swimming and using my quarter staff to poke around and make sure I stay on that five foot area. What five foot area? You know, you said there's a... a one foot ledge five feet down. Yeah. And then as soon as you step off that, it goes into just deepness, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to make sure I stay on that and not just go into the deepness part. But I don't think it goes left to right. I think it's just like a foot ledge that just goes to this entranceway. Is that what you're saying? I got the idea. It was sort of running along there. here. It was it sort may, of not as not. deep. That's the way a channel basically works, but, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I have the rope tied to me. I have you guys on the rope. Do I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold on here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So you've taken your belt off. Taken my belt off. I've taken my backpack off. Mm -hmm. um, made myself as light as possible. Tied the rope around me extra well, and yeah, I guess I'm just going to go have a quick look down there. Okay, you go into the water as slowly as you can off the ledge, off the edge. Yeah, being extra careful. Yeah. Um. Okay. As you um. You basically don't touch the bottom. Um, straight straight you are, away. You, well, you're five foot four. Yeah, okay, touch yeah. the bottom, your eyes might just barely show above the water. Um, All righty, no worries. Yeah. Yep, um, that's cool. And then you realize that chain mail isn't the best thing to be wearing in water. Yeah, I sort of figured that. But um, I also figured Why they'd be able to pull me out with the rope. Mm -hmm. um, but once it's wet and you're being dragged under, it's adding to your pull. Um, mm. which means you'll straight away get swept off the ledge you didn't even manage to touch. Uh, if you've got your quarter staff in your hand, it's useless to you. It's actually an All impediment right. and you're going to be you're going under. Go I'll ahead. just let go of the quarter staff. Yeah. They should be able to see this and pull me back up straight away. It's dark. I can't see nothing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I Do we can't see um, you're underwater. <laughs> oh my both. god. Um, Literally, but, the line goes. The but, line goes you taut. Might want, you might want to be yanking on it. Can they not seriously sense that the line has gone taut and just drag it? Fuck me. Well, That's there's five of us holding it at different spots, yeah. so there's different tautness between each Marabar. of us. Holding. Oh my god! You How does the team have so tools. little coordination between you? Because you set yourselves up in a very unwise situation. But Maravai, you see her heat signature go out. Okay, she's underwater. Uh, Maravar's going to say something, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh, my God. Yeah. Paul. Uh, I, I think she's gone under, guys. We should... uh, 
Just Stop pull. pull her out. <laughs> okay. So oh. just just so you know the drowning rules. Okay, guys. So the drowning uh, rules... after I'm in the water. Yeah. Okay. So the drowning rules are pretty first. pretty simple. Um, you have X amount of time before you have to start saving versus your con, and each round after there, it's a minus one of your con. And when you start failing, is you start drowning. Um, so, but usually you have um, roughly anywhere between a minute to three minutes before you've got to make that save. So, what is her normal con, please? Um, I don't know. All I gotta say is I should have taken off my chain, which I was thinking of doing. Mm. But that's okay. But I uh... um. So if she's got an average con, then you're looking at two minutes. Con's 13. 13? Okay, two mm. minutes. She would literally, two minutes. By the way, I literally stepped just off the edge. I'm yeah. literally right in front of them. Like, yep. and you get like I throw my arms up. Like, my arms can be above the water. There's literally like a you foot of rope has you've been got taken. you anything on the ground to hold you. You're swept off the ledge into the deep part. What? But how did I get swept off the ledge into the deep part straight because away? Because when you go down, it's five feet deep. That's so you wouldn't have been five. able to tell you'd reach the ledge until you were just about to reach it, and then you got pulled in, I guess. So. Yeah. I guess. There was no yeah. deck or anything like that. Well, either way, like I said, I'm right there. Okay. So whoever to has talk. told them you are being pulled out, coughing and, and spluttering. Pull. Um, pull. Pull, yeah. Yep, that's the easy part. Coughing and spluttering. Um... I'm not going to roll to see if the rope breaks or anything because that would just be silly that right now. Um, and you are at the edge on the ledge that's water free, except that you're puddling water all over the place. Alrighty. Um, so well, if his body did go into the water. In that the, armor? The, in it's, that it's armor. It's very likely that he's got swept off and he's either in the deep part or down the riverway. Yeah. It's and in that armor, current. he would have been fairly unlikely to survive, yep. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, that armor, I think, weighs an extra 50 or 100 pounds more than yours. So yeah, that's what, that's what I was sort of thinking. Yeah. I, I do want to say, at one point, we thought he was very unlikely to survive being on fire. <laughs> mm. Situation of this smoke filled and cat and thing. Uh, he's yeah. obviously he's this orc's got whatever you know. I, th I thought he might. Yeah, I thought he might have survived. Oh, you were you were so onto it, mate. You were so onto it. <laughs> just just I poking my head out, out Steve. Sorry. Just poking my head out. Is there a way of climbing along the walls either direction? If you are perhaps an experienced um, thief, you might be able to try to climb walls, or if you had um, that wonderful spell spider climb. Mm. Um, otherwise, it looks pretty dangerous. Oh, unless so, yeah. buddy, our druid, our druidish friend feels like summoning us up a naturally formed canoe or something, I think we should move on. What about a giant squid? Mm. If it's a friendly giant squid, you might be okay. <laughs> By the way, what are, what is what is the swimming rules, Steve? Like if I wasn't in my chainmail and I was just you, you know drunk. practically wearing clothes. If you if, if you I was just are just in clothes. Anything more than leather. No, as in, if I was just in my clothes, in clothes? that's it. Oh, you, like, you'd like be as if swimming, I... but the problem is it would be um, a swim save, strength save or something against the current, depending on which direction you're going. It would yeah. be obviously easier to go across than go upstream. Extremely easy yeah. to go downstream. Extremely yeah. easy with nothing on but your clothes to get your head above water. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, like, I'd, if I was going to do it, I'd strip down to basically nothing and then pretty much your clothes, me. perhaps yeah. a dagger they, they do say you know they make this thing like if you take anything over a dagger you can see yeah. that you've encumbered part of your body so a dagger in yeah. your teeth would be in your teeth yeah and you wouldn't like um, impede your movement or anything with all that armor on he would have sunk like a stone right and that would be a, that would we... be a safe assumption Unless okay. whatever he grabbed out of his drawer or out of the um, mm -hmm. treasure room allowed water breathing, water walking, spider climb, or yep. something. Mm, it's a good point. Oh my god, can you imagine this like half burnt orc thing just currently sitting on like the ceiling looking down at us, planning his revenge? It'd be so good. Mm. <laughs> Anyone going to be brave enough to look up at the ceiling? Uh, I said that out loud and I then 
you know, look at my. Oh, wait, oh, I, I had a full look around with Improvision. I'm going to. I'm going to end it with Lucky slowly scans up the wall, slowly <laughs> looking up at the ceiling, oh, and no. then we finish for the night. And I'll tell you what he sees tomorrow. Uh, I mean uh, next week. Yeah, uh, just, just turn it off. You've got to try to leave it on some sort of. Yeah. Um,